Dragon here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be wearing a funny hat. Uh, I'm not sure why, but we're going to be discussing uh, something kind of exciting that I think um, would be a really good addition to the game. And that's a new gunboat energy ability. So while I talk about this, we're going to be getting into some uh, all tank attack, guys. We've got the uh, the tank mania is here. It is Thanksgiving. Uh, happy, happy Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, if that's what you're actually celebrating. Brack, brack, brack. And we're going to be diving on into a couple player bases here. Now, I am going to be doing this unboosted. Um, I've actually got Zmod's live stream on right here, and uh, he's kind of cheating by using full boost, which I did do uh, yesterday too, so I guess I shouldn't say too much about that. But uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try and see how it goes, and uh, if need be, we'll, we'll get some boost going or whatever. But uh, yeah, as far as the new gunboat um, ability goes... Here's basically what I'm thinking, guys. Here's basically what I'm thinking. So, it's going to be based off the speed serum. And we saw that in not the, the last Mega Crab, but the one right before that. Um, so, the, the speed effect that it would have would be the exact same as that. Okay, so... Um, so, it speeds up troops as fast as the speed serum. Uh, it does not increase damage output. So, it's, it's just, just a speed thing. Okay, so... Um, oh god, he's got a grappler too. Uh, it, 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 and and um, I'm going to try to make it like as reasonable as possible. I don't want to get too crazy with the expectations here. So, it does not work on the HQ. And it also uh, doesn't work within two tiles of the HQ. Now, I say that because I, I don't want it to just turn into a warrior thing. Uh, where you just like throw it throw it right down on the HQ and like the warriors do it in like two shots or whatever it's same thing for all Zookas like I don't want it to just like you you put the all Zookas down and then you put the speed serum thing on top of it and then they just like like two sh in in the time it takes them to do two shots to do like four or five shots which would just be ridiculous uh, so that attack wasn't great that attack wasn't great we're gonna show some operation attacks while I talk about this to make it easier <laughs> but um yeah okay so we got uh, Trogdor which is a new guy going in on dredge here um, <clears throat> so the whole speed serum, um, the name of it would be the, uh, uh, speed serum laser. So it would shoot out of the gunboat like a laser, which I think would really work well with the aesthetic of the gunboat and like how the game plays and like everything like that. Um, it would cost three GBE, last 10 seconds, uh, no stacking effects, unlocks at HQ 20. And only able to place one on the beach at a time, so there is a t 10 second time delay on the um, on the speed uh, on the speed laser thing. On the um, yeah, so that's that's basically how it would work, like mechanically. Um, so it, it's like um, it's like a small um, just it's just a small spell of uh, of speed more or less, like we see in the Mega Crab. I'm gonna speed this up a bit here, guys. And, um, yeah, unlocks at HQ20, I think that's a good level for it um, to be used in. Um, like, I, I, I just feel like that's a good spot where you can kind of get more tricky with your attacks and stuff. And some uses for it, this is this is mainly what I wanted to get into, guys. I mean, it's it's like a speed spell, okay? Like, you can, you can just look at it like that. It doesn't really matter the rest of the minutia uh, about it, more or less. So some specific uses for it. Uh, for Zookas to get through barbed wire uh, faster, and it would require a really good placement. Uh, since the barbed wire does damage over time, it would negate the need for a med kit. So I think that would be really cool since this is only suppo like supposedly, we'll say it costs 3 GBE. Just something less than a med kit, right? Um, and if you placed it perfectly, uh, would it would negate the need for a, for a, for a med kit. Uh, you could just put it right on top of the barbed wire, the Zookas run right through. And I think that would be kind of uh, that would be a good use for it. Uh, another use, not as good as that one, but um, a, like a, a spot you could use it in for warriors um, on certain paths where there's not flamethrowers or uh, hot pots. Um, when it's just like single shot stuff or rocket launchers that are uh, bothering them in operations or like player bases or whatever, um, and you could use it there and space your smokes out more when your smokes are getting more expensive. And then they could just sprint right through that area with the stuff, like, not uh, able to look at them long enough. Like, it wouldn't be able to lock onto them long enough um, to have 
to be able to shoot them, right? Um, and it could increase slow shooting troop damage, uh, like tanks and grenadiers, um, things like that, and, and make them a lot more viable, maybe in operations or something like that, um, because they would have a, a much higher damage output just because they're shooting a lot faster. Now, obviously, it still wouldn't work on the core, which is like... Um, or no, sorry, it, it would work on the core for tanks and grens because they, they shoot from such... Um, from, from so much farther away than the other troops that you could actually uh, you could actually place it so it wouldn't be within two tiles of the HQ. So that's basically my thoughts on that, guys. I don't want to I don't want to talk too much about it. I just think it's a I just think it's a cool idea, something that we could because um, we when was the last time we had a, a gunboat ability upgrade? Like I'm just trying to talk about like new um, update things because that's what gets me excited about the game, right? Is new updates and stuff like that. Oh man, I couldn't have picked a harder base. This is, we'll, we'll try it, guys. We'll try it, but this is not happening. There's no way. There's no way I'm doing this unboosted with all tanks. Um, okay, so I'm going to take out the boom cannons first. Um, he's got a fair bit of ice, guys, so... Uh, we'll we'll give it we'll give it a hashtag check and go, but I don't I don't know I don't know about this one. Uh, he's got what two four ice? Okay, so it's not crazy crazy, but I mean that shock blaster is gonna just absolutely maul us. Like that's just gonna be bad. Um, I see the shock mine there, but I don't I don't want to waste. I have such little GBE when I do this unboosted that I don't want to waste anything that I do have. Um, okay, so where are we going next year, guys? Where are we going next year? Um, I'm gonna kind of stay up in this area. I think that's gonna be best. I'm not too worried about the rocket launchers, even though without um, a troop health boost, uh, they are gonna cause some damage over time. Okay, so we gotta we gotta get rid of that shock launcher. That is uh, that's messing us up pretty bad. So I am gonna be able to avoid the shock launcher on the other side. Um, I'm gonna try to do something like this. I need another flare. So when I'm flaring tanks, I try to keep the flares, even though I'd, I'd obviously I'd rather have them further back there to the left, um, I try to keep them close together because I want them shooting as quickly as possible. Like, I want the tanks to get going here. Like, get going here, guys. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and shock there. And we're going to need to blast through this, this area really quickly. And I don't really see that happening, guys, to be perfectly honest. Um, if we can take down... If we can take down that shock blaster in like in like a decent amount of time, we might be cleared of stuff because I don't see any um, boom cannons or any single shot things. But like you see, once the shock blaster locks on, it's just it's like basically game over. Like it it, it stops them. It does it it like as soon as it locks on, it almost it almost uh, takes them out, right? So. The fact that it freezes them and does such massive damage, yeah, it just hits just ripping up the poor chicken's tanks, guys. That's okay, though. That's okay. We'll try another base here. We'll try another base. Um, we'll see exactly what we can get done with them unboosted. Uh, obviously, they're not a great troop unboosted because they need so much GBE. And uh, the extra damage and health obviously helps a lot, too. Hmm. We couldn't. We couldn't have found worse bases. Like the the. I'm I'm not even gonna bother with this one. The shock blaster, shield gen. That's just the, the worst combo for all tanks. Uh, we'll see what Teddy's got in store for us, guys. We'll see what Teddy's got in store for us. So let me know what you think in the comments of the chicken hat. Back, back, back. Uh, shield gen and uh, shock blaster. Haven't seen that one in a while, guys. Uh, that one's actually not gonna be in range on the backside. We'll give this one a go. We'll give this one a go here. Hopefully we can at least get one of these bases, guys. Uh, should we go up the right side or the left? Um, I'm thinking the left. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna launch them out like this because I want to save as much GBE as, uh, as I can. Okay, so those are the boom cans that I need to go down. Now, I actually, I don't need to smoke them all the way back. I should stop doing that. Because they can, uh, they're not like Zookas, obviously. They're not going to just die uh, when I throw them down on the beach. They can do like a fair amount of damage just on their own from uh, being placed there. Alright, so now we're going to go right about here, I think. I probably have enough GBE left for about two more smokes without, um, without losing uh, too much space there. Okay, so... 
So I'm going to artillery that. And then we need to shock the shock launcher and the boom cannon. And let's just see exactly where this goes, guys. I'm going to save that shock again for the shock launcher because we're going to need that down. Um, all right, all right, all right. Once we take out the shield, we might be okay here, guys. We might be okay here. We might be okay here. Um, all right, so tanks, all tanks not only viable, but apparently OP with the chicken, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and flare onto the core. I was hoping to get that mortar first, but that's okay. Uh, we have so many tanks left that we should be able to do a good amount of damage. And you see, I, I kind of like when they're grouped up like that, when they got like the little horseshoe pattern around the HQ, because when the shock launcher is going, it's only going to get like three or four of them at a time. So that wasn't bad, guys. That wasn't bad. We'll try one more. I don't think that guy had... Uh, he didn't have much ice, if any at all. I see one there in the trees. Was it boosted? We'll say it was boosted, guys. We'll say it was boosted. Um, Alright, so we're going to get into one more here. Before we wrap things up. Eric, let's see what uh, let's see what Eric's got in store for us. Oh god, he's boosted here, guys. Uh, can we can we just like sprint like chickens to the back, guys? Uh, I think I think it could be possible. Now the shock blaster is gonna be in range for freak's sakes. Yeah, well, I still like the left side. I think be just because of this boom cannon. <laughs> Uh, I think we can maybe outspace it a little bit. So what I'm going to do this time is let them clear a little bit, just a little bit on the landing, like maybe one or two buildings, right? Basically once the do the boom cannon, excuse me, uh, gets in range, then we're going to flare up to the left. So I'll take out a couple buildings here. And now I'm going to go this way. And what that does is just helps with the GBE. Oh no, my smoke didn't go down. That's going to cost us. It shouldn't be too bad, though. Uh, also, that shock mine is super deadly for tanks. Because now I think I think they're get, the the smoke might expire. Can we get going? Get moving, guys. Get moving. Okay. All right. They're getting up there. They're getting up there. All right. Come on now. Come on now. See, this is where that uh, that speed serum would come in super handy, just to get them friggin' up there. Uh, that was a waste of smoke, I think. All right. So what I'm gonna do here is farm up a little bit of GBE. Oh no, there's a hot pot, I didn't even see it. Shite, I didn't even see the hot pot, guys. Uh, okay, so what we'll do is I'm going to barrage and hopefully take out the shock blaster. Uh, one, two, three. My God, this thing is massive health. Oh, he's got, he's got boosted ice, that's why. Uh, I, I think we'll be able to stay out of the range of the hot pot, guys. I think we'll be able to stay uh, home free from that one. Now, I, I'm going to let them spread out a little bit here because I want them to clear these buildings just because I need the GBE. I think we might be okay. This is an absolutely horrible layout. Like, what, what was this guy thinking? <laughs> like, especially with boosted ice. Like, come, like, put some thought into it. Uh, one, two. I'm gonna I'm gonna put down uh, more med kits. Now, typically, I try not to stack med kits, but my tanks were at such low health that they weren't going to uh, that they weren't going to be fully healed. Like um, I see people do that for like warriors and stuff, or like I guess not warriors, but like something else. Uh, maybe uh, maybe heavies. I don't know. Where they'll they'll put down just like. Those spam all their med kits, and then like the heavies get completely healed in the like in 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 like a couple seconds, right? Because there's so many med kits stacked and the, and, and their effects stack. But uh, what they should do is just use one or two, wait, offset the damage, and then use one or two again once the med kits come up. In the chicken's opinion, anyways, guys. So that went pretty well, actually. We'll try one more here because. Uh, we're on a bit of a hashtag chicken roll here, guys. And uh, where are we going to go? Oh, God, a doom can. Uh, hmm. Nope, we're running away. Nope, I don't think so. All right, so we'll try one. We'll try to find one uh, half decent uh, hashtag chicken base here, guys. Um, two shock blasters. He doesn't have any ice, though. Um, is this going to be in range in the back? Yeah, I don't like that base either. I'm trying to avoid shock blasters if I can. Um, 
they're just so annoying for tanks. Like, it's just like... They're, they're not as bad as grapplers, I guess. I'll say that much, but I mean... We'll try this one, sure, why not? Uh, they're not as annoying as grapplers, but they're just like super deadly. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to try to take that one down first. Okay, and now we're gonna we're gonna smoke up this way. Now there's a lot of single shot stuff in range here, like right away. Um, so I'm gonna I think we're gonna go back here next, and I'm just gonna try to stay right between that doom cannon because I I need it uh, to go down first before I do anything else. Now I should probably shouldn't have flared because when the tanks flare. They go way, way out, guys. They, they have a really bad horseshoe. Uh, so I'm going to lose all the guys that stepped out there. Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to shock uh, this guy, too, because I need to. Oh, man, there's lots. There's too many boom cannons in range here. Way too many boom cannons. i got to take out this one, and then i just got to run to the back and, and get some GBE. Uh, okay, so take that tank out. And go. Go, run. Run, tanks. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, can we salvage this now, guys? Can we salvage this? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tanks left. That's a good enough amount of damage. Um, I think if we come at this from the top, uh, the top, like, left side, then maybe we'll be out of range of those boom cannons on the bottom. Uh, I'm not sure exactly, but uh, I think... It's going to be close, guys. It's going to be close for sure. I'm going to go ahead and double medkit. Uh, hopefully we can get that one tank that's almost dead. Uh, of course, we just missed him and got the other ones. Uh, that's alright, though. So we'll take out this rocket launcher. Actually, I'm just going to clear out this entire side, I think. Uh, because we can. Now, we do have to be worried about the time. So I'm not going to be able to clear out as much as I want to. And this tank's actually going to get this rocket launcher, or this flamethrower down for me. Alright, so now I'm going to flare up like this, and I'm going to have to save my shocks for whatever comes in uh, range first. So I got 17 GBE, uh, that shock blaster is going to be a nuisance, guys. Uh, I'm not sure how, I'm, I, I don't think we're going to have enough to finish this. There's just too much in range here still. And that boom, there goes the boom cannon. Alright, so we're, we're shocking this, we're shocking this. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, I think I think that's gonna done us for today, guys. I, I don't know. I don't I don't see how this is finishable. Yeah, that's gonna that's that's gonna wreck the chicken uh, for that one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the tank the tank mania unboosted fail episode today, guys. Um, make sure to let me know down in the comments what you think of the uh, of the new gunboat ability idea. Um, I would be like super excited to get any new kind of gunboat thing um, because we've got that one little square there right and it's just looked so ugly for so long like we got to fill it with something and I think the, the the speed serum laser is kind of a good idea so and plus they did tease the the speed serum in, in the mega crab uh, right before like in the last mega crab they did that with the Cairo bombs and then they brought it the Cairo near so maybe the the speed serum could bring out the the speed serum laser um, something like that um but yeah i think i don't know i think it would be fun so so definitely let me know your thoughts down below in the comments about the speed serum laser if you think it's a good idea let me know if you think it's uh, ridiculous let me know either way uh make sure to leave a like on the video if you found it uh interesting entertaining or informative and we'll see you in the next one guys chicken out <laughs>